Good afternoon. What we've got here is an example of some creativity, fun and learning a lot about Microsoft Excel all in the one tutorial. I'm basing this on world sports events and as the Rugby World Cup is coming up in Japan in a couple of weeks I thought I would start there. I've already made a page which is all set to go and what we're going to have is some points being scored so if Italy scores a try we just click on the wee spinner and the score is programmed so it comes up on here. I've already um, programmed this list of all the teams that are in the World Cup and I've downloaded these flags just to add a little bit of extra and this image here on the big screen has just come from the internet and what I'm going to do now is take you through how to do this. So I've just copied our demo and the first thing I did was just trace around here and made a grey background. I'm now going to click on the tries area and just fill that with yellow. Now I need to do this in all these cells so I'm just going to hold control and click on the cells where the number of these scoring methods are in and fill that with colour. Now in the score over here, I'm just going to go and make that orangey colour. Oh, that don't like the look of that at all. So maybe that will look better. And I'll do the same down here. Could have copied as I did before. Now the next thing is we want to bring up the list of teams. And for that we're going to do some data validation. So we go to the data area up here. Click down here and choose data validation. And it says... Where are you going to get this data from? So I click on the drop arrow and choose list. Next thing says, where is your list? What is the source of your list? I always have a spare one up the top and some spare ones down the bottom. I'm tracing down here. So if we have to add or change teams, it's really easy. And now I'm just going to say, OK. So now if we look in here, we should see a little drop down list with all the teams that are over in this column. I can't be bothered doing that again, so what I'm going to do is just do copy and paste in here and hopefully we will now have a data list going on for the second team. Excellent. Now the next thing I want to do is to bring in these spinners that you saw on the last page. So we've got to have the developer tab up for that. and. What we're going to do is come into the insert area where we've got some form controls and I'm just going to choose this one and I'm just going to paste it on the page. It often doesn't go exactly where I want it to so I'm going to click away and move it in a second over here. Right click. I'll just shrink this down a little bit to about that size and now I've got that. I can put that in there. Now, I'm just going to right click on that and format it. So it's saying, what is the current value? Well, I'm going to put the current value down to zero and the minimum is zero. I'm going to choose the maximum for, for this tournament. I think 20 tries would be plenty going up in ones. And now where do you want the result to appear in the cell link? So I click on here and click OK. Let's just test that. So now if I click away from here and come back in, sure enough, my spinner has got that up to one. Now I'm going to copy this. So I'm just going to copy and I'm just going to do control V in a number of these places. And I'm going to click and try control V, but it doesn't always go exactly where I want to. So I'll just have to manipulate this a bit and I'm now going to try and be really tricky by holding control on each of these and do control C, click somewhere down here and do control V. So not, not too badly off. The only thing we have to worry about now is that these ones aren't programmed. So what we're going to have to do is format control. All of those other things that I set up are correct, but we do not have the right source. So I'm just going to click over here now and change the source. Right click, format control, change the source, and that is going to appear there. OK, 
and right click um, format control and we've just I'm just not going to do all of these because you would have to repeat that down for these ones here so what I have to do now is program the score and so this is going to be an equals and we're going to click on here saying equals that and times five because we get five points for a try plus whatever is in there times three plus whatever idiot if you're a rugby fan you'd know that that should have been two plus whatever is in there times three plus whatever is in there times three and we'll press equals and test that so one try it should be five a conversion is worth two so it's seven a penalty is worth three so it's ten and fingers crossed yes a drop goal is worth three so it's thirteen now I can't be bothered doing that again so I'm going to copy that and paste that into there uh, unnecessary that should be fine let's just and we haven't programmed any of this yet so nothing will appear but I'm sure that will work what about the big screen I'm just going to go to insert and I'm going to get illustrations I'll go to online pictures and because I'm a very parochial New Zealanders I'm going to type in all blacks and we'll search this I like these because they're Creative Commons approved I'll look down here see if I can find something with a little bit of action oh yep that looks good and I'll click insert that'll be way too big so I'll just squeeze it down to size here and oh we now look as though we've got some teams who could be playing so let's go over if I click in here I've got the drop down list and it looks as though we have got Ireland versus New Zealand I don't think we need this anymore because it's Creative Commons so I'll delete that and I have got some tutorials I'll give you this whole file uh, if you'd like a copy of it John Phelps signing off from New Zealand